Hi, it's Alex. Today I'm making a video kind of in response to my last video about feminism. When I published this video, I was intending it to reach primarily a feminist audience, and it was about how I think it's best to respond to people who don't identify as feminists and who openly oppose feminism. So I published this video, and I was not expecting what happened. What happened is that within 24 hours of publishing this video, there was a storm of traffic. I didn't really publicize the video very much. The traffic actually came almost exclusively from YouTube search. So incidentally, uh, the traffic came mostly from people just typing in one word, just feminism. So it's very generic traffic. It's not like people specifically searching for the topic of my video, but just people searching for videos about feminism. And the response to the video was very negative. Like, I received a record number of thumbs downs. I think it's, it's at 20 currently, and it seems to be increasing over time as more people watch the video. And there was also a ton of negative feedback left in comments on this uh, video. And I wasn't expecting this, and it sort of shocked me. Like, normally my videos are pretty well received. I have a small audience of people, mostly people that know me personally or that I know through other places on the internet, so I wasn't expecting this. What was sort of shocking to me, though, about these comments, it wasn't just that they were negative, but it's that they were these sort of hostile rants. And I'd say about 80% of the comments had nothing to do with my video at all, and showed no evidence whatsoever that the people had actually watched the video. Like, the comment was just a big rant about feminism, and in some cases, the people were even making personal attacks and insults towards me, with the assumption that I'm a feminist who's advocating all these bad things that they think about feminism. And the degree of irrationality in the comments was pretty extreme. So, I wanted to make a follow-up video in which I talk about constructive ways to criticize groups of people or ideologies, and I want to focus on feminism. So, what's a constructive way to criticize feminism, or raise criticisms with feminists, if you're someone who opposes feminism? Like I said in that past video, I think that there are some very valid reasons that people feel uncomfortable with feminism, and I've experienced some of these firsthand. There are some really ugly and extremist things that people can say and do under the banner of feminism, and I think it's important to discuss these things and to build a consensus in society whether or not you identify as feminist, to build a consensus around these sorts of behaviors being unhealthy or harmful, or certain viewpoints being untruthful. So I think it's, it's important to break down these viewpoints that are more extremist, that are coming out of feminism. So, for example, uh, one thing that really bothers me is when people make broad negative generalizations about men, uh, or when people kind of promote or advocate hate towards men. That's one thing that bothers me. Another thing that really bothers me is when people take an all-or-nothing approach to feminist ideology. Like, they're like, well, if you don't agree with this one point, even if you support all the other stuff that I'm advocating, if you don't agree with this one point, then you're not a feminist. And then you're part of the problem. Like, I hear people use that phrase a lot. You're part of the problem. Like, you're either part of the solution or part of the problem. I've studied a lot of cognitive psychology, and I have experience with this both through academic study and through counseling and my own struggles with depression. And one thing I can tell you with confidence is that that pattern of thinking, this sort of you're either part of the problem or part of the solution, that's called all-or-nothing thinking. You can also call it black-or-white thinking. And it is associated with mental disorder. Like, people who are depressed or people who have anxiety disorders often tend to exhibit that sort of behavior. It's also associated with anger and group conflict, that way of thinking. It can kind of polarize groups into like us versus them, and this idea that you have to be on board with everything or you're now an opponent, and then people can direct hostility at those people. So I think that's an idea that's really unhealthy. So, okay, I gave some examples, but I want to talk in general. What's a healthy way to criticize feminism? And what's a not, not particularly healthy way? I think healthy criticism, or constructive criticism, 
it has a specific goal in mind, and it often is specific in scope. So it targets a specific idea, or a specific action, or message, and then it communicates why you disagree with that message, or why you think that the idea being presented is untruthful. On the other hand, unhealthy criticism that I think is not constructive is criticism that I think involves broad, sweeping negative statements, statements about other people's intentions or motivations that attribute negative intentions or motivations to them, I think that's unhealthy criticism. You never know what's going on inside someone's head. And personal attacks. So things that, like, label people negatively, like calling them an idiot, or calling them, like, worse names than that. I think those are non-constructive. So why do I feel this way? Why do I think these broad negative statements are not constructive? I think that the only thing that these sort of things can do, it sort of like puts feminism or feminists down as a whole group, and puts whatever your group or viewpoint opposed to feminism is, sort of puts it above that. And I think that that's problematic because feminism is really diverse. Like, I've read a lot of feminist authors, I've been active in feminist groups on college campuses, and I have a lot of friends who are feminists. And there's stuff I like, stuff that I agree with, stuff that I think is making the world a better place, and there's stuff that I dislike, stuff that I disagree with, and stuff that I think is actually worsening or contributing to social problems. And I think it's important to sort through that, and if you just attack feminism as a group, as a whole, it doesn't sort through it. And it, what it does do is it creates polarization. It shuts off feminists from the critiques that you might have that might be really valid and really important for them to listen to. So when you attack them in these really hostile and demonizing ways that sort of sweepingly dismiss anything they have to say, you're just completely closing off the possibility of dialogue with them. And I think that that's really a bad thing, because I think that it's important for people to come together and hash out these issues, and go through things in a more fine-tuned way, like, and, and examine each statement, each behavior, each viewpoint. We don't necessarily have to agree on everything, but I think it's useful if we can build a consensus on as many things as possible. So that's why I think it's important to be as specific as possible when you're criticizing feminism. So, I hope that many of the same people who watched my previous video can watch this video. I have no idea how to reach them, because I, I'm pretty sure most of them aren't subscribers to this channel, uh, they just found the stuff through YouTube search. But I hope they find it. Uh, I would love to hear from you. Again, I'm not going to put up with real extreme negativity and rants. If you leave a comment, and it doesn't reference anything in my video, it seems off-topic, if you're insulting me, and if you're making broad, sweeping, negative generalizations about anyone, whether it's feminists, anti-feminists, anyone, you will get your comment deleted, and I'll probably ban you from the channel. This channel is a place for an empowering and positive discussion. I want to welcome people with a broad range of viewpoints, but I want people to be respectful. It's not so much important to me what side you're on in any sort of debate, but it's important for me that you are respectful, and that you don't make overreaching statements, that you don't insult people. Uh, I want to keep the dialogue positive and civil and respectful. So, within that context, please comment if you are able to do so within those constraints, and please share my video if you like what I have to say and you want it to reach more people. Thank you!